for another 10 points as we join Bob Sines. Now you all have to pay very careful attention here because Bob's got two gadgets to show us. The first one is for you, the audience, and the second for the panel. This time you just have to guess what it's for. There are many mysterious things to be found in these woods. All you have to do is to find the right tree. Two delightful parcels. Let's see what's in the first one. A rigid plastic strap attached to a blunt metal blade with a stalk which moves through 45 degrees on a rubber hinge. And in the second, this lovely brass device has a piece of piping free to move in all directions. And there's a bulldog clip too. So what do you think these two puzzling inventions are for? Mm, well, audience, remember that the first present that was opened is yours. Carmen, what do you think it was? It was some sort of pump. It was some sort of pump. How about this young man next to you? Scraping ice off a window, maybe. Scraping ice off a window? That's not a bad choice. Okay. <laughs> Well, we've got a scraper or a pump, say the audience. We'll find out very shortly. But first of all, James, what do you and your team think that second item was for <laughs> we you? Have <laughs> we have the faintest idea. What? Can we take the first? We've described it as a two-pronged bulldog clip twizzler. <laughs> yeah. And, and, it and it's made of brass. The nearest thing is it's for taking the bubbles out of very large bottles of beer. <laughs> yeah. So something for taking the, the bubbles out yes. of big barrels of beer. Yeah. OK. Well, stranger things have happened. Let's see. And here is where we find the answer. This is a handbell. The note of the bell is determined by the size of the plate. A small plate gives you a high note. A large one is lower. And this is designed to hold a chorister's candle. The gimbals mean the candle always stays upright and doesn't spill wax onto the chorister's hymn book. And a Merry Christmas to you all. It's so easy when you see it, isn't it? Well, the audience uh, at least had three ideas. They were all completely wrong, but I'm going to give them five points for that. And the panel at least had one idea. They had one idea, and they think it might double up as their barrel, their bubble beer thing anyway. So I'm going to give them two points, which makes the score 12 to the panel and five to the audience.